Just wondering what the response is uh, from the defense as far as mentally and approach, because I know you guys probably weren't happy with the way you played Sunday. What's been the response early this week? Um, just all work. No, and that's all we can do. You know, I had a tough week last week out there. Wasn't the best effort, wasn't the best um, performance we could have had as a whole. But um, yeah, just came in with a fresh mindset. You know, you got, got a lot of season left, 10 plus games, man. So when you got that many games left in the season, you know, you really think, look at it and you're like, man, well, I only played five games. You know, it's, it's so much more left to it. You know, so much more you got to do. You're going to see teams, the teams that was winning. You're going to see teams that was doing pretty good. You're going to start seeing them fall off. You're going to see teams that was, you know, doing, you know, pretty bad. You're going to start seeing them make a turn. So it's just NFL season. Go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Frank, it, it seems like Josh Allen in particular embraces and welcomes being out of structure. How do you balance the contain while also trying to get to the passer and rush and just try not to over pursue? Just stopping the run first. Um, stopping the, when I stop the run, I don't got to think about all the that's fifty percent, you know, chance that I don't got to think about, you know, doing one job. So once once we're able to do that, then we can rush the pass and have fun on that level. I feel like you know when you start thinking too far ahead, you don't give enough credit to that running back, you know, and to what he's been able to do for the offense as well, um, running and catching the ball. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta gotta take in accounts for everything like that. Let's go next to Aaron Ladd. Go ahead, Aaron. Frank, when you look at your front office, always looking to make moves and the addition of uh, Le'Veon Bell, what's the initial response to that in the locker room? I mean, you know, everything, you know how it go, man. A lot of stuff's out of our control. You know, you just can't hope for the best, you know, in certain situations like that, you know, always, you know, for a guy like him, who, of course, everyone has knowledge of and knows about, you know, you just hope the best for the situation. But, you know, that's not out of my control, man. I'm just a player here. Um, you know, he gets in, um, you know, that'd be dope. That'd be exciting. But, you know, like like we say, man, the pen's not, you know, dry yet. You still got to, you know, play out all type of things on that end and the paperwork side. So, you know, um, you just hope for the best and, you know, continue to keep our hair straight, keep our head on get, um, for this Monday night football game. Let's go next to Seren Petro. Go ahead, Seren. Frank, uh, I'm curious. The uh, After the game, Chris Jones said they had a lot of new formations uh, with, with the Raiders that uh, maybe you guys hadn't seen. Uh, I, I, you know, how much do, did that contribute, do you think, to uh, your guys, you know, maybe being not quite as quick as you've looked for, the, for through those first four games? Um, it contributes a lot, but at the end of the day, football is football, you know. Um, line up, you win the play or you lose that play. And then um, at the end of the day, you grade it. You know, you either lose so many or you win so many, and um, that's the determining factor. Um, before the, you know, first half was up, we had gave up so many big plays on defense. You know, um, I believe that one of their receivers had, what, two, two, two catches for over like 100, 100 yards, you know, and what, four four or five big um, runs or whatever. Um, well, they ended up finishing the game. We kind of had held them, you know, under that before. But, um, you know, just, we just let the game get out of hand, as we have in the um, previous times when we say, well, you know, you got to come here and stop the run. You got to come here and execute on that level. And um, that's something that we wasn't able to do. We let a lot of big plays happen. Both their running backs had fairly good games, I would say. And, um, you know, we let Derek Carr do what he does. That tight end had a great game. And uh, we just, you know, you got to move on. Like I said, season's long, man. Looks like we've got time for three more quick ones. Let's go Todd Lebo, Darren, and then Harold. Go, Todd. Hey, Frank, you kind of mentioned effort. You know, you felt like it wasn't maybe the greatest during part of that Raiders game. How much is that a factor during the long grind of a season, especially when you're facing an opponent that the team had done very well against? Uh, do you take things for granted sometimes? Is that just human nature? Um, I don't think so. I think I think sometimes guys get tired sometimes. You know, um, the effort is – and I wouldn't say the effort isn't there. Sometimes it's just the plays. You know, sometimes you don't – you might not execute something as well because you probably didn't work it as much, you know, that week in practice, or you probably didn't, you know, think you would, you know, um, that call would be as important as it may, you know, uh, you know, have been. But um, it's just things like that. It's understanding that on the on one of the lighter day practices on a short week, you know, um, how much execution, how important that is, how important it is to execute when you don't have pads on in practice, stuff like that, where you're initially getting you know, that contact, you're getting those hits, you're getting that, you know, that live game speed so that when Sunday comes, it's a lot uh, slower for you. But, um, you know, when you struggle, you have a lot of these difficulties with the changes and different stuff going on. And, our, you know, you got our coaches trying to do everything they can to protect us and get us 100% for that next game. 
Um, you know, sometimes stuff like that happens. You know, like I said, it's football. You know, you gotta. We we knew coming into the season it was gonna be challenging. Um, you 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 coming off a championship winning season, you know, and everybody wants to beat you. So, let's go to our final two. We'll go Darren and the Herald. Good, Darren. Uh, Frank, first of all, good afternoon to you. Hope, hope all is well with you, man. Um, you know, I know the defense is a prideful bunch. I know you all felt that you didn't play a great game against the Texans, giving up, you know, 14 points towards the end and then obviously the Chargers. But you all played, you know, you all played exceedingly well when you faced off against the Baltimore Ravens. This is a team that people are saying is, is an ascension, could be an AFC championship game matchup. Do you feel that you all may or may not play up to or down to the level of competition and then following that, just have you early voted yet? Mm. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like we play down or up to competition, depending on who we play, you know. Um, I think it's just a, it's more of a controlled effort on, on our part. Um, I don't I honestly we don't really think about other teams that far like that. Like we don't really look at other teams like well they or they weak or you know that's a stronger team on our schedule or you know they got this person on their team. We don't never look at that. We put everybody in the same category. They just a football team who we gotta go out there and give our best. If we don't, it can be the simple. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what happened last week. You know, we'll feel like are we the better team? Yes. But did we lose that game and were they the better team that day? Yes, they did lose. I mean, they were because they executed better. They did their job and um, they won their individual matchups better. And that's the name of the game is who can win the um, individual matchups and dominate, you know, on that end. Darren, did you have a follow up there, Darren? Yeah, I would just ask him, you know, just if he's had a chance to early vote yet, I know, you know, with the time frame, so just if, if you're in any of his teammates had a chance to early vote. Oh, I didn't, I didn't hear the early vote part. Okay. Um, no, no, no. Um, I, I'm not sure what, what some of the guys have done. I know it's been a, it's been a large effort on, on, on our side as far as just, you know, doing different things and getting people to, you know, get in and make sure they're registered before the deadlines and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't really speak too much, you know, far into that. I don't know people's political, you know, views and how they do that, but myself personally. Have you early voted? No, nah, I plan on it though. Okay. No, nah, not at all. I plan on it though. I was just watching the ad last night on YouTube, tripped out how they doing all this uh, campaign and stuff, man. They be dogging each other. Let's go last to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. I, I, I agree. <laughs> I was watching the campaign like, oh, this uh, they getting crazy out here now. They be taking to Twitter. Hey, trust me, all on Twitter beefing. I work on local news. I have to see three, four ads per break. It's crazy. Uh, I'm tired of the ads. I'm trying to pay to get them off my YouTube. <laughs> I'm listening to the oldies. I'm trying to jam and stuff late night. You know, the old, they done, they done, um, popped on Barb or somebody talking about she she's supporting somebody. I said, oh man, I gotta go. On. <laughs> gotta cut YouTube off. Well. Uh, I'll follow this up with the, the football question side of it. I'm going to go back to revert to week one. After week one, Tyron Matthews said pissed off. Mm -hmm. And um, when you play a game that you did against, <laughs> especially a guy with Colton, which you had faced with the Seahawks, had some success against, didn't have success against on Sunday. Um, do you get more pissed off with Steve Spagnuolo saying the walkthrough was one of the best walkthroughs he's seen since he's been here? It just makes you more P's and Q's when it comes into the next game. Yeah, yeah, um, you have to, you know, because like I said, when you, it's hard to go through that weekend, you know, really practicing, you know what I mean? Like you want to um, just execute those things that you, you know, you know, that needs time. You know, a lot of stuff in football is time. It's, uh, it's, it's contact, you know, it, well, shit, it is contact, but it's like, you know, how often can I, can I get my hands on this man and, and beat him? How often can I? You know, uh, how physical can I be? And like I said, when you take some of that off, it's, it can affect the game. It's going to affect the game. But um, when you can, it's who can battle through that, you know, through those adverse situations, you know, because we're not the only team that's going through it. It's everybody in the league. You know, it's um, they, I'm sure it's other teams going through similar stuff as well. But, um, you know, it's just who can battle through it. Um, you just watch the, um, not to speak on any other team, but you just watch the team in Tennessee go down after everything they've been going through. And, um, you know, um, play a very good football game the other night, you know, and um, they've been going through all type of adversity. So stuff like that, man, we just got to be able to battle through these adverse situations, understand what's the climate, understand there's going to be maybe other changes in the future and um, just be more prepared and more ahead of it than other teams.